It has been nearly seven months since a Hartford police detective, Bobby Garten, was killed in the line of duty. He and a partner were headed to a police call when a teenager trying to escape another police car stop ran into their cruiser. Garden was in the passenger side and he was killed in the impact. The other officer in that cruiser was injured. An awful, awful tragedy. And since that horrible day, his family has started a memorial fund to try to keep his memory alive. Next week, Detective Garden will be honored at the Hartford Yard Goats home opener. And NBC Connecticut's Brissette Alain de Verde sat down with his brother to talk about the memorial and what happens next. Brissette. Yeah, Mike and Keisha, there's a lot happening to make sure that Detective Bobby Garten's legacy is kept alive and going. Now, this is the first time we have heard um, from his family. Uh, they welcomed us into their home. They were so gracious with their time and just shared so many stories about Bobby, his love for the youth, for Hartford. They say they miss him, uh, Mike and Keisha. Understandably, they're still having a hard time uh, dealing with um, his passing. But they are looking to the future. They are looking ahead and they hope to keep his memory alive and just highlight and honor all the things he truly loved and cared about. Bobby's still my little brother and the one I wrestled with downstairs in the basement. We sat down in the Garten family home where William and Robert, known as Bobby, grew up together. I just miss him so much at these family events because he was always there and he was always my partner um, at, at these family's events. We always would talk and, you know, kind of hide out away from the parents, hide away from the kids, and we would spend that time together, and I just don't have that anymore, and that's, that's what I'll miss the most. Will still remembers the last words he shared with his brother when he left his son's birthday party to go to work. He rolls down his window and goes, like, all right, have, have fun, whatever, and I remember, all right, be safe, and he drove away, and that was the last time I saw him. Do you think about that moment a lot? I think about him a lot, and I'm happy I had the moments I had had with him. Detective Robert Bobby Garten died in the line of duty back in September when his cruiser was struck by a car fleeing a separate traffic stop. Bobby's partner, Brian Carney, also suffered serious injuries. Will remembers vividly arriving at the hospital that night. My mom told me about how he didn't make it, and I just, I went numb, and didn't really know how to act because you always knew that this day could have come but you just didn't know when and you're still not ready for it. In the days that followed, the Garten family saw an outpouring of support from the community. A wake was held at Duncan Park where hundreds attended. The last time we were at Yardgo Stadium was for his wake so um, it's going to be a little difficult seeing the, the field a little different and the building means so much more to our family now. So it, it's great that the Yard Goats can, can honor Bobby. During the Hartford Yard Goats opening day on Tuesday, the fallen officer will be remembered again. The Garten and Carney families will throw the ceremonial pitches, and Bobby's nephew, Liam, will sing the national anthem like he did a previous year, but this time in memory of his Uncle Bobby. He really loved my kids, and my kids loved him. The family has created the detective Robert Bobby Garten Memorial Fund, and through a partnership with the Yard Goats, the fund will award a scholarship to a student in the Hartford area pursuing an education in law enforcement. He could have been a police officer anywhere, right? But he chose Hartford. Why do you think he did that? I think he chose a lot of it um, because he loved the city of Hartford. He was always out in the city of Hartford. We grew up going to Whaler Games. Um, and of course, my father was a Hartford police officer. I don't think he'd ever admit it, but you know, I think he, he had a somewhat connection to that and, and kind of gravitated toward that. The second generation police officer was posthumously promoted to detective. And then the detective Hartford police and his badge number never got to wear it. The new badge now sits in the family's living room. He wanted to be the detective so bad, and yes. And he wanted to just continue to climb. He wanted to continue to do good work. Very emotional there. Um, now, the family hopes to continue growing uh, the Memorial Fund each year. They hope to offer a scholarship on a yearly basis and also help the family of other fallen officers. Mike and Keisha. Brissette Lenderverde joining us with that touching story. Thank you. Brissette, thank you.